dear students now we will see some of the important ir absorption frequency of functional groups now depending upon the strength of the bond the ir frequency changes that is the nu bar value changes stronger the bond higher will be the nu bar value so depending on the strength of the bond we can have different ir frequency ranges now there are some important functional groups which can be identified on the basis of nu bar values so from 3600 to 3300 cm inverse if there are signals between this range of nu bar value the functional group can be identified as oh or nh the bond oh bond or nh bond is there and the functional group is alcohols or amines the next important region of ir frequency is 3100 to 3000 cm inverse this is the aromatic ch stretch so if there are peaks between this range aromatic compound can be identified the next important range of ir frequency is 3200 to 2500 if in this range there is a broad peak then that peak is due to carboxylic acid group next important ir region is 2400 to 2100 it is called as a triple bond region c triple bond c stretch and c triple bond n stretch these signals are obtained in this frequency range 2400 to 2100 cm inverse and the most important region of ir frequency is carbonyl absorption that is 1850 to 1680 cm inverse if there is a long and broad peak a sharp peak also then carbonyl group can be identified and large number of compounds like ketone aldehydes amides esters acid chlorides and anhydride fall in the region of 1850 to 1680 depending on the strength of the bond carbonyl c double bond o bond the next region is 1680 to 1620 this is a typical c double bond c stretch then a characteristic c single bond o stretching is observed between 1300 to 1000 cm inverse so ethers can be identified in this particular region of ir then there are two very important characteristic bending frequencies if two peaks are obtained at 850 to 800 cm inverse then para disubstituted benzene can be identified and for mono substituted benzene 770 and 710 cm inverse are the ir absorption frequencies so depending on the frequency range we can identify the functional group in ir we will see one example now how will you distinguish the following pair by ir ethanol and diethyl ether suppose these are the two compounds and we have to distinguish by ir now what is the structure of ethanol it should be suppose methanol i will write it is ch3oh and diethyl ether is ch2ch3o ch2ch3 now how can we distinguish this pair by ir we know that there is a characteristic absorption 3600 to 3300 cm inverse will be there in methanol but such peak will be absent in diethyl ether so we can definitely identify 
which compound is alcohol and which compound is ether we can also have a second example <coughs> between acetone and one propanol now as there is a ketone functional group there will be a characteristic absorption at 1715 cm inverse and this peak will be absent in propanol but there will be a peak between 3600 to 3300 characteristic oh absorption so this is how to distinguish the pair of compounds so ir absorption frequencies are very helpful for identification of functional group in the molecules